Hi, welcome to our Rigo University webinar series. Today we're looking at the Microsoft Project to CAPPM integration. I'm Camille Pass, Director of Marketing. Thanks for joining us. Before we start, I'd like to point out some of the features on your webinar dashboard. You can just click and drag any of the visible boxes to resize them. There is a box titled Resource List where we've posted a link to our Rego University um, webinar. I'm sorry, our Rego University um, training event is in beautiful San Diego. It's September 29th, and we'd love to have you join us. If you'd like to schedule a meeting with a Rego consultant, just click on the Contact Rego button and submit your information. So let's get started. Joining me today is Tanya Moore. She's an incredible CAPPM expert, and she's been with the tool since before the days of NICU. So Tanya, thanks for coming on, and the floor is yours. Thank you, and thank you for that introduction. So today we're going to go through our version of the MSP connector for CAPPM. First of all, we have written it from the ground up. We've used the latest .NET technology used on the client side, which means we use the most up-to-date class libraries and will continue to improve and involve the client as Microsoft updates the technology. We've optimized it for fast saving and opening with CAPPM server. With our connector, we have reduced the payload size and decreased the reliance on client-side processing. There is no worry about the client taking over your workstation or making it unusable when you open and save a large project. We do instead the heavy processing and validation on the server where it's equipped to handle this heavy work. We support 2013, 2016 standard, professional, and click-to-run versions of Microsoft projects. Going into the features, we support full bidirectional synchronization between MSP and CAPPM. This includes task management, full WBS support, based tasks and milestones. Dependencies, all types are supported, including leads and lags and elapsed durations team and resource assignment support. So as you add team members to your project in CAPPM, they come down nicely into Microsoft Project. You can assign these team members to tasks in Microsoft Project. And of course, multiple assignments to tasks are supported. We also support calendar exceptions. Moving on, uh, we support custom fields on the task teams and assignments. We do this using the out of the box MSP mapping page in CAPPM. We have enhanced error and exception logging. The team responsible for developing the MSP connector comes with a background of supporting customers that have used MSP integrations. And we are eliminating many of the pain points when it comes to validating your project when you save the CAPPM. And I'll show you a little bit of that error validation during the demo. Going on to the next slide, let's talk a little bit about the roadmap. We have now released version two, which I've already showed you or talked about. Coming in February 2019, we will have custom lookup support, including static dependent lookups and team allocation support, including team allocation segments. Coming in spring of 2019, we will release targeted project import and export support, which means we will have an option for syncing key tasks and milestones only. Throughout the years, we've heard requests from customers that they would like to manage their full WBS and MSP, but they are only required to import key tasks and milestones in CAPPM for reporting. We've also heard the reverse of this, where customers need to report in the form of an MPP file such as key tasks and milestones, to a third party but do not wish to share the full project details or the full project plan. With this enhancement, we will support both of these features, along with laying the groundwork for other types of targeted import and export support. And with that, I will take a quick breath and share my laptop and do a demo. And 
And Camille, if you can, let me know when you can see my desktop. It's coming over. You see it now? Yep, you're good. Okay, perfect. So I have the uh, Rego connector for MSP installed. And what you see is a new tab for Rego link. I'm just going to click on that tab. And over on the left-hand side, there's a little checkbox for the CAPPN Connect. So when I check it, on the right-hand side, right -hand side, we have a dialog, a login dialog. And it comes predefined with a CAPPN URL, my username and password. This information persists every time you close down Microsoft Project. And even when you upgrade versions of the uh, CAPPN Connect. This information you only have to fill in once and you're done. So to connect to CAPPM, all you need to do is click on this connect to CAPPM button and we'll get a validation that you're successfully connected. If there are any issues with your username and password or an incorrect URL, you'll get a descriptive message here. I'm going to click on OK here. And from the project side, there's a little drop down, and I'm going to click on that. And this will give me the project list. Now, I'm an administrator, so I see all the projects that are, are currently in the system that I have rights to either view or edit. Uh, this is rights based, so if I do not have rights to see the, to view this project in CAPTN, it will not show up in the list, in the list here. This little key here shows that I have access to open this read or write. So I could open this in Microsoft Project, make my changes in Project, and then uh, import it back into CAPPM. If I do not have a key, that means I can only open it read only. Either it's locked by another user or I only have read, read only access. So I'm just going to scroll down to my set of projects. And I want to point out a couple of things here. I have a few Tanya, Tanya projects. And you see that there are two Tanya test two projects. In CAPPM, you are allowed to name projects the same name. And to help distinguish them in Microsoft Projects, we are also including the project ID as well. So that's a good way of distinguishing them. So I'm going to click on this Tanya demo project. And to open it in MSP, I'm just going to click on this Open in MSP button. And the project will be exported from the relational table in CATPM down into Microsoft Project. And here is my plan. Um, I'm going to jump over to the resource sheet real fast. And I'll show you that all of my team members from CATPM have been exported into Microsoft Project. This includes roles here at the top. These are just roles. And then I have my named resources. Looks like I've got some superheroes on my team, which is always nice. And then we have a, a non-labor resource in the form of hardware. So all of those resource types are supported um, in our integration. Moving over, I'm going to go into my special view here. my demo view. And this gives me a view of all of the things that uh, I want to highlight that we support with our integration. This includes constraints. So a couple of these tasks have constraints. This one has the finish no later than. This one has a finish no earlier than. You can set up these constraints both in Microsoft Project or in CAPPM. As I said, they're bidirectional. Uh, we have our full WBS, including summary tasks, phases, and milestones here. And again, you can add these tasks either in CAPPM or in Microsoft Project. They uh, communicate nicely together. Uh, we have task duration, work, and percent complete. Uh, all of that is, again, things that you can modify in either, either one of the, the tools. 
Moving over, you see that I'm running out of real estate here, and that's no problem at all. All I'm, all I'm going to do is click on this little X on the Rego link, and this will give me back the full view. So as you see here, we have the dependencies, including uh, dependency types that I've talked about before. We have a start to start with a lead, a finish to start with a lag here. We also have assignments. And I've also um, mapped a custom field to the text fix field in Microsoft Project. So this is a custom field in, for the task in CACPM that I have mapped that's not native, sorry, that is not native to Microsoft Project that I've um, exported down. So with that, I'm just going to make a couple of changes here. I'm going to change this lesson learned task to 10 days, and I'm going to create a, a new task, and I'll just make that five days. I'll add a couple of um, assignments, and I will mark this for workshop. So to save this back to CA PPM, all I need to do is click on this Rego link tab again, check the CA PPM connect, and here's my project, and I'm going to click on open to CA PPM through the dialog. And so right now it's going through that server validation, and as you see, the message is for server-side processing. The um, During this time, as we mentioned before, the onus is on the server to do the validation, and it's very light on the client. When it's done and it's successful, it says that it's processed successfully. I'm just going to jump over to my project real fast. One thing you can notice right away is the project is locked by me, which is good because when I have it open in Microsoft Project, I don't want anyone to uh, make any changes in my project in CAPPM. First of all, I want to point out that the lessons learned path, the duration has changed to 10 days, and that's the change that I made in Microsoft Project. And I have my new Tanya demo task. That is five days and associated to uh, workshop six. So that looks great. Now I want to show you some of that uh, exceptional error handling that, that we have. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of illegal things. So just like with the out-of-the-box connectors, MSP owns the res or sorry, CAPPM owns resources. So I'm just going to cut. I'm going to just create a new resource here in CA in uh, Microsoft Project, which is not something that is allowed to be imported. You can't just import a brand new resource through Microsoft Project into CAPPM. It's not allowed. The other thing I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to go into my NASV view. is I'm going to do um, a summary task assignment here. So I'm going to have to add two assignments on this, this one task that's the summary task. This is not allowed in CAPPM. So I just want to show you the error handling. So I'm going to bring this over. And uh, I should note also that you can also drag and drag and get more real estate with the dialog by just selecting this partition here and dragging just like I did. Um, so I'm going to try to upload this to CAPPM. And you'll see that there are two messages that have come up with this validation. One is resource with line 14. Tanya is not from CAPPM, so it's not allowed. The second one is assignments on summary tasks. Number 19 are not allowed. So uh, with other out-of-the-box connectors, there, um, there is an inability at present to show more than one error on the save. So you might get an error when you save and then make that, connect, make that correction and then try to save again, and then you have another error. 
So what we have done is we have cataloged all of the, the exceptions, and we'll throw this in one single message so you can take a little screenshot of that, make your corrections, and then save your project. Okay? So the last thing I want to do is just close this project. And when I go into CAPPM, you'll see that the project has the lock has been dropped from CAPPM. And with that, that includes that concludes my demo. Okay, great. Back to Thank you. you, Tanya. Sure. Awesome. That was super interesting. So thank you for joining us. And as we conclude, I'd like to remind you that Rego offers free half-day classes in Roadmap in the Modern UX, JasperSoft, Power BI, and Portfolio Management. So thank you for being with us today. On behalf of Rego Consulting, we hope you have a wonderful day.